So I wanted to start here with the link out to the library and you can see that it brings me to the library homepage uh, for uh, SJSU. Remember that we share a library with the city of San Jose. The place where I always go is right over here where it says quick links. Choose articles and databases. At that point, I choose the academic search complete. If that's not showing on your screen, then you can just click on the A for obviously academic in the academic search complete. So I'm going to click there and notice that now I have to go into um, the library. You would type in your SJSU here, your SJSU ID here, and also your SJSU1 password here. So now I want you to see that I'm on the Academic Search Complete um, front page, essentially. And what I want you to notice here is this link right here that's referred to as Choose Databases. If I click on that link, then that takes me out to a list of all of the databases that we subscribe to that's owned by a company called EBSCOhost. You can see the name EBSCOhost here. That's the owner of these databases. Notice that I could select all of the psych databases that I had listed on an earlier slide. And if I go down, I could also click on Sport Discus. I want you to look through all of these databases <coughs> for ones that might be appropriate for other papers that you might be writing. So then I would choose OK. Now, when I am searching, if I choose Show All, notice that it's giving me all of the databases that I've now selected. I could show less as well. Let's put in here uh, the search term um, open skills. Notice that I get 191 sources that are about open and closed skills, some aspect of open and closed skills. That's a very broad category. I'd have to look through these 191 or some of them and try to get a better sense for uh, what are the topics that underlie the study of open skills. For example, um, looking at the second to fourth digit ratio and game related statistics in female basketball players or looking at task switching and how motor skill experience affects that. Notice here exercise interventions that are open and closed skills with older adults. So you can see that any one of those articles could serve as a topic and then I can go through the rest of these and actually come up with a very narrow focus for my uh, short essay or manuscript. Notice over here uh, I'm going to limit my search to full text because we need to be able to get that. We want the references that that person addresses and we also want to limit our search to scholarly uh, peer-reviewed journals. However, I don't want to put a limit on when you could search to. So let's put in 1950 and see what we come up with now. Search. Notice now I've limited it. So I have 47 um, different articles that are all PDF, so I'm able to open those up and um, again read the abstracts and narrow the focus for my review of literature. Let's look at this PDF for a second.
if I were to go to the journal, um, and this is published in the Journal of Sport Behavior, I know that by looking at the header on the second page. Notice that I can get the volume number and the number of the journal. Also, it gives me the page numbers. Um, here's the abstract for this particular study. And uh, it looks to me like this journal does not have keywords. They are usually found on the title page, but let's see if they're at the end of the references page. So you could see that many articles could be located according to various topics that you might be searching in the literature.